WMUR News 9 starts right now. Good Saturday evening. I'm John Schoenheider with a quick WMUR News 9 update. First up, one person is dead after a fire in Bethlehem last night. Bethlehem and six other fire crews responded to a home on Main Street just before 1030. And when they got there, fire and smoke were coming out of both the first and second floors of the home. Crews found one person dead inside, but no word yet on who that victim is. An autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow. And of course, if you or someone you know has any information, you're asked to call the state fire marshal's office. The number is online at WMUR.com. And there was training today in Guilford, helping volunteers make the most of a disaster. Teams moving through drills designed to mimic the aftermath of a tornado. Each volunteer is a member of the community emergency response teams that work throughout New Hampshire. And together they had to help trapped victims, provide first aid, and even put out small fires. The exercise is set up to be as close to the real thing as possible. We're not talking about something fictitious that probably will never happen. This has happened in New Hampshire, and it's created damage, it's created injuries, and it's created death. The community volunteers are training to step in during a major disaster when professional first responders might have a little too much to handle. Now here's meteorologist Jacqueline Thomas with a look at your forecast. Yeah, we had a couple of showers overnight into early this morning, but that quickly cleared out. It's left us with a quiet day and a quiet evening now as we head through the rest of the night tonight. We're going to have a mainly clear sky. The breeze from today also calming down. That's going to leave us with cool temperatures overnight, 40s, even some 30s as you head north. So a chilly start first thing tomorrow. Tomorrow. But then on Sunday we get back into the sunshine. Temperatures not quite as warm as today. 60s for most of us for highs and then a cooling trend heading into next week. We also see our next chance for rain early next week for Monday. A chance for showers developing overnight Sunday into early Monday morning. So as you step out the door to start your week, you're going to want the rain gear on hand. Here's early on Monday 6 a.m. Notice the showers, the rain continuing to push through mid morning, still getting that damp weather as we head towards the afternoon on Monday, those showers become a little more broken up, a little more scattered before that system finally starts to clear out with some drier conditions returning again on Tuesday, but cooler temperatures return with it. John.